Hello and uh, welcome to. Oh shoot, let's adjust this volume first. <laughs> uh, hello and welcome to Double Up Chicken Hawks uh, Let's Play on Fantasy Nine. I am a hillbilly, so I do have a slight speech impediment. Hope you can understand me. <laughs> but I'm uh, picking this game off up here at uh, Gizmo Luke's Grotto. Cookies. <laughs> and uh gonna be playing this. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show everything that I do. Because it's annoying me to watch everything and to do everything and record everything. It takes a lot of memory and time. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that, but uh Yeah, uh, this is a part where Cookie's hometown's being attacked and you gotta get there first and uh, give me all your cookies. <clears throat> and to get there, you have to go through this cave, uh, which is named after a monster here, which isn't a monster. It's, I think it's something they worship, Gizmo Luke. Uh, they call it Master, and a lot of their statues are based on its face, but they have their bodies and uh, Vermesian's bodies given to a random battle. I'll put this on here. I'm recording over this because I recorded this first, but uh, after this, well not after this, but after any of my new recordings, I've got some more footage too. I'll, I'll just do it live. I'll show these little bugs guys here. And I, and then he berserked him, which I think the magic user would be bad, but he's a warrior, so it's going to work against him. <clears throat> A lot of these monsters in this version at the beginning are very weak, and the boss's main difficulty in this game is being able to steal the items from them, which is kind of annoying. It's one of the few annoying aspects of this game. This game is probably the best Final Fantasy as far as gameplay, and it's definitely the best artwork, background artwork. Uh, all the battle scenes are beautiful. The, uh, characters are drawn beautifully, except for the main character, the monkey boy. Uh, it's kind of a cheesy... Ca I, I don't know why they went with the monkey boy thing. I just don't get that. But all the other characters are well drawn and pretty entertaining. He's just the only annoying one, in my opinion. Uh, the music on this game, if you're listening, is, in my opinion, by far the best music. Uh, when this game came out, I remember they were toting this and claiming Square, square was uh, that this was the culmination of all Final Fantasies. And those are freaky clowns again. I hate them freaky clowns. They're wild for you to get rid of them. Uh, which doesn't make sense. Uh, they run from you right here, but actually they're powerful enough to obliterate you in just a few seconds if they wanted to. Apparently they're... Maybe they weren't powerful yet. Maybe they had to undergo some sort of transformation. But you can see the battle screens are very beautiful, very beautifully rendered. And by the way, if you notice, there shouldn't be any lag or lines like on my other videos. I'm using Windows Movie Maker for this instead of uh, Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas gives a clear picture, but on the movement for these, for this capture device I use, it puts little lines on them. And it's, I don't know. It's probably because it's a very old capture device. And, uh, and stuff just doesn't next well with Sony all that. Uh, Movie Maker seems even though it's not as colorfully rendered, it's you know it still works. Um, it doesn't put them freaking lines everywhere. Which I hate. These mages right here, they're pretty tough. If you're wimp, <laughs> if you're weak, but you know I still don't get how the Burmesian soldiers can't hope that these guys and did they're being overwhelmed by numbers or something like that. They should be able to take care of these guys. Hermesius. Supposedly in the game is known as a warrior or tribe. And they're all pretty strong magically too, supposedly. So it doesn't make much sense. Yeah, you can see the chef walking back and forth. If you're not familiar with this game, no quiz now. All your <laughs> He's a pretty good character, actually. But, uh, that Burmesian there, Cookies, is one of the best characters in the game. 
best all around. It's uh, based on the Dragon Knight of the Final Fantasy series. They do a lot of jumping, which is a, which is great. And apparently, in all the new Final Fantasies, that's since they don't use the split-screen turn-based thing anymore. That's been removed. That tactic has been removed, which is a shame. It's a cool tactic in the game. But you see this little mall here, and she just got married, and her husband got trapped. And why they got married in this cave, I don't know. But the wedding buildings fell off. <laughs> and apparently black mages just go right by. Moogles, they don't give a crap. She smells something. She smells. You think she would have been afraid of him after being attacked by that? From that, yeah, he carries those. He's a dealer. She said no. <laughs> this is pretty strange right here. I mean, he's trapped by Giant Bell, and uh, apparently that's a uh, coupon cocaine. Because <laughs> he goes crazy and he jumps out. And, and, yep, coupon coke. <laughs> but uh, this, I mean colors on this is so beautiful and the gameplay gets better battle wise later on in the game you ain't totally dependent on the skill of the bosses and your skeleton is another in the use magic which is strange you wouldn't think I'm dead at that caliber they use magic but they do here's Gizmo. And here's what I was talking about. You see, like the statues and stuff. They uh, they have the shape, of the missions, but they have the appearance of this gizmo little guy who's here. That they I don't know. If they, I guess they worship him. Or he, maybe he's the final form of their species or something, or related to him or something. But <clears throat> as a boss, he's he's kind of kind of tough because you have to steal all the items from him. You want. There's one item you want from this guy, and it's the Blizzard staff. You get Blizzard, the second Blizzard staff. And it's pretty hard to steal from him. This game is weird. You can steal two items. Usually these bosses have three items. And the item you want, you won't be able to get. And you die. Or some sort of game thing that happens where you get and you get reset and reset. It's kind of annoying. It kind of again for these first two bosses. It kind of takes away from the gameplay. But uh, the bosses and monsters at the end, it doesn't as much. You can steal from them, but it doesn't happen as much. So it just gives you more than it does. Especially at the end of the first disc, which you'll see on. You got to steal from this girl. She's got a mythical sword. It's very he gets attacked by magic, he counters with silent force, which is a pretty good technique. Which I get. It's very well drawn. As he wants to be in some magic. If you fight back, it's that's how he does his main damage. If you just go out all out on him, he does so many counterattacks and whatnot that he can Smack it around and make it turn into a healing party very quick. <laughs> but if you sit there and just defend and steal, it doesn't have to survive for a long, long time. Hmm. Trance. Uh, that's another problem I have with this game is the trance mode. I think he just lost it. He died. He lost it. It's against your will. Trance is thrown on you. When they do this thing. It's kind of like the winning system on 7. How you get hit and it builds up. You see the little meter there. And then you can use limits. But on 7, you save it. You can use it when you want. You got to save it if you die. It's way. But if you save your game. Here, when it fills up, it goes off. As far as I know, there's nothing you can do to stop it. You just have to take it. And usually it happens when you don't want it to happen. You don't get to take advantage of it. Very 
very depressing when you're, you know, you'll be about to fight a boss character and uh, you're built, have it kind of built up and you'll fight some sort of little weenie monster right before it smack you for a couple points of damage and you'll go up and you'll be using the boss. But uh, it's, I mean, it's very powerful techniques usually, very useful techniques. It's just so pretty hard to go off. A lot of people uh, on this game also a downside. You know, some people, not me, they hate the card game. It's, a little bit different. it's based on eight cycles. I like this one. It's better than eight. Mm, much better. Got a little frog in my throat. Uh, and, uh, I probably if people that know this game will complain about it. They'll probably complain about that, saying that you don't get anything from doing the card game on this on this uh, one version. But I have to tell you this right now: uh, the card game on eight is so darn annoying. I couldn't play it. I mean, it's just it starts out okay with a few rules, and then they keep forcing rules on you as you go more and more and more rules. But this one, the rules are staying from beginning to the end. And I play the card game because I like to play the card game because it's challenging and I like to get different cards and level up the cards because you can level up the cards in this card game they get stronger. But that's yeah, pretty much it. Uh, this uh, splits off to the princess now. The princess and Rusty there, they ran off from the party. She wants to go try to stop her mama. And, uh, Rusty there, he likes pickles. <laughs> Uh, hopefully uh, the kind you eat are <laughs> the only kind of pickles they like, so although he acts kind of weird at times. And he's hiding her in that bag of pickles there, and that'd be pretty heavy to carry a human and carry all them pickles too. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna do these videos and just uh, not want to record everything because it's just a lot of memory. It's a lot of work, and I don't want to record it unless it's interesting. I didn't even record uh, any of the the beast hunt in the city. That's because I, I didn't like it's stupid. But how do you know? Uh, I let the mage win the beast hunt because, like I said, I like the card game, and I wanted the theater ship card. I didn't want no stinking money. I didn't want no freaking uh, coral ring. Although the coral ring would allow me to. Uh, kill that grand dragon back there in Gizmo's cave for a lot of experience, but that's, I mean, you're going to get that with levels of experience just for playing this game, it's really not much. I'm playing this game just, for, you know, for the fun of it right now, not to be some sort of freaking, uh, this is how you do it, uh, except for on the card game, on the some card game, the tutorials, I like the card game here, and pretty much all the card game tutorials I've seen this game uh, suck. They just insult it. And, and I like the card game on this. I don't like the card game on this. I like the card game on this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, you're weird that way. You know, Rusty runs around the way. And I didn't get that uh, chest. I don't even think you can get it right here if I'm not mistaken. I haven't played this game in a long time. and uh, I'm not going to look up anything on the internet. Yeah, I'm just going to play it. Not going after Excalibur 2, just running through the game, doing big, you know, that's no fun. It's just like a mission thing. I've done it before. And it didn't, the game wasn't fun that way. <laughs> Playing this for fun, and I'm putting it on the internet because uh, it's that or housework right now, or work. <laughs> That little armor guy there, he's a very powerful character to use. At the end of the game, he's one of the most powerful you can use, him and the mage. Together, especially. I got a console this morning here. Get her out of the way. I gotta clear that alleyway over there. That prince is in that bag of pigs. Gotta get her out of there. Uh-oh. 
guard tells me, hold on here, what's going on? Kind of gets me, I mean, that guy is the head of the knights, the Pluto knights in this kingdom here. You think they would recognize who he was? Especially wearing that armor. You think he would be at least semi famous because he's right hand man of the queen, the queen of this country. She pretty much prefers female warriors and everything else. But they do have a male legion, the Pluto knights, and he's the head of that. And he's pretty powerful. Although he's not as strong as the female head, which we'll see later on. He's pretty darn tough. One poster right there. I think it is. I don't know. It looks like it says Wing Boy. But they went through such great detail in this game on all the backgrounds. More detail than any of the final games. I haven't played 13, I haven't played 11 either, you know, I mean, that was kind of a flop. But I've seen pictures for 13 and that just, oh, that looks pretty, that looked pretty sad. I kind of, I like 12, 12 is pretty good, that's some good characters. I mean, it's a new, totally new, different battle system, but it's, you know, they did have machines, but they, there was a lot of monster fighting monsters and stuff, so it was pretty good. But the backgrounds on this are even more colorful than that. Even though this is a P1 game and not a P2 game. But they're far better. And, uh, 10. 10 was a good game. I loved 10. The storyline of 10 was the best of all the storylines I've ever played. I mean, very good. I like the villain in that one, too. I mean, and I like summonings. I like fighting with the summonings. Ooh, Chocobo. We'll talk about the Chocobo here. This would be a Chocobo thing. This is the third treasure I've gotten this Chocobo. I didn't film the other two because they're so easy to find. I mean, you don't need a tutorial. This is just the third one. You see, it matches in between them mountains. If you've never played this game, this is Chocobo Quest. You're going to beat on the ground. Chocobo likes to find things. Oh! And a treasure chest there. Kick it open. Ooh. He's got ricin. <laughs> I wonder if that came through the post office. Ooh, trippy. Ooh. Look at movie Serpent in the Rainbow. <laughs> Chocobo's Dream World. You get these chests and your Chocobo gets stronger and he can do more things. That's the... Uh, uh, River Chocobo, it would be called in seven. I forgot what they call it here. What they call it, they'll tell me here in a second. It allows you to go through shallow waters with your Chocobo. You put the yellow Chocobo when you start out with just runs along the ground. And as you find more treasure chests, your Chocobo can go more places and do more things. And that uh, Ocean Chocobo, the final stage of Chocobo, can go anywhere in the freaking world. I mean, you can run up mountains, you can run across the ocean, just take off wherever you want to go go around pecking on the sides of mountains and stuff and open up a lot of places and your goal is to get to that fat guy and eventually you gotta get your chocobo home so he can be reunited with all his chocobo brethren and it's a pretty long process it uh, happens at around the end of the game but it's very well worth the chocobo game here this is the best also